Okay, let's take a look at the schedule of discount amortization using the straight line method. Devon Harris Company sells 10% bonds having a maturity value of $2 million for $1,855,816. The bonds are dated January 1, 2007, and they mature on January 1, 2012. Interest is payable annually on January 1st, and I see I have a typo, so let me fix that. I need a Y there. Much better. And our instructions are to set up a schedule of interest expense and discount amortization under the straight line method. Okay, well I've worked a little bit of this ahead of time just to make the demo go faster. So we need to create a schedule and typically what we'll do is list the date or the year, you know, the payment date. Then we would list um, the payment, the actual interest payment we're going to make. We need to calculate interest expense. We also need to figure out how much of the discount was amortized and we start off with the carrying value of the bonds. So Let's, uh, let's put in our first date. Well, our first date was January 1st, 2007. Okay, let's fill in our first number, 1855816. And I need to make this, um, bring it to light so you can see it. And we know that the next payments all occur annually, so we can drop all of those dates in. It goes through December 2011, so that's correct. Um, the bonds pay 10% of 200,000, so I can enter. Let me, uh, let me, let me make all of these black. I haven't worked this part anyway. I just had it colored white by default. Okay, so if I take the two million dollars times 10%, we know that the actual payment will be 200,000. Okay, then I can just copy that down because we're going to make payments of 200,000 at the end of every year for five years. All right. Now, the the amount of the discount is um, is the using the straight line method means we do it the same way each time. So the total difference is the difference between two million dollars and what we sold the bonds for, which appears in that cell right there. So if I subtract that, right there, the hundred and forty four thousand is the total amount of the difference. Now what I have to do is, uh, let me do this in the cell so you can see it, is divide by 5, all right, to come up with the annual straight line method of uh, bond discount amortization. And it's 28,386.80. Well, once I have that, I can simply just reference the cell above, copy that down because that's the amount we're going to discount each month. Now, if the bonds were sold for less than the face value, then that means that we are adjusting for the fact that the interest rate is higher. So whenever we sell bonds at a discount, the interest expense is going to be higher than the payment amount. So we could add in the payment plus the discount amount and that's the straight line amount of interest expense we're going to record every period. Now, if we follow this, the carrying value of the bond will move from 1855 and slowly rise. So we take the carrying value plus the amount of the discount that's being amortized, so we're going to increase that, and it begins to go up. Okay, well, the interest expense is the same using the straight line method in every period. And therefore, we need to copy the same formula. We start off with the carrying value from the cell above at cell E11, and we add in the amount of the di or add in the amount of the discount, which will raise the carrying value. And eventually, by the time we pay it off, we'll be at the two million dollars. And that's all that's required on this uh, this problem. Thanks, everyone.